Choke of the week. week. Okay. Obviously, no surprise. The choke of the week for this week is the Penguins. Yeah. Just kidding. It's not the Penguins. They it's the Ottawa Senators. Embarrass them and that's bullying. Yeah. Therefore, they're, they're the choke they're of the, the week. They're the choke of the week. The we don't go for that here. <laughs> <laughs> the Senators lost 7 nothing to the Penguins. 7 That no- was game 5? 4? 5? 5? 5. 5. Game 5. Last game they've played right. as of... Because there is no, there's a Nashville game today on Monday. The Penguins play on Tuesday. Yeah. So they play again when this pod is up. So they are tied for the largest blowout of the playoffs with the Sharks seven nothing over the Oilers. Yeah. Um. Yeah. God damn you guys. I just it's it's amazing that hockey games can do that. There have been three g- go- there's, <laughs> I Can't even speak. There's been three games in this playoff series. With seven goals. A six or more goal differential. And Batman wants more goals in hockey. I fucking... It drives me nuts. It's... So, somebody pointed this out in, like, a group chat of ours. The Sharks won seven, nothing over the Oilers, were eliminated. The Oilers won 7-1 over um, the, the Ducks, Ducks. Yeah. eliminated. The Penguins won 7 nothing over uh, the Senators. Will they be eliminated? The reason I say no is because I think this is, takes place on the other side of the conference, and there is a chain going here where I That's think true. That's I think true. what we have to see is the Ducks are going to win seven to one against uh, against uh, uh, Nashville there, and then they'll get eliminated or seven something. Maybe. Mark my but words. Next game, Ducks are going to blow out the Predators and lose I, it in Game Seven. I, I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. But I want the Senators to beat the Penguins. I think I like the Pens, but. Uh, I think you just I, I want, want them to it, share. I want, I want a greedy. Canadian team. It like it sucks nice. that it has to be the Penguins that lose to them. Yeah. But I'd love for the Stanley Cup to be back in Canada more than I would like Sydney Crosby I agree. to win I another feel, accolade. I, I do feel bad that the team I'm cheering for, which is the Penguins, uh, is going up against the one Canadian team. And I've had some people ask me, they're like, "Well, why are you cheering for? Why aren't you cheering for the Senators? Like, why are you still cheering for the Penguins?" It's like, I've, look, just because the Penguins are going up a Canadian team, I'm not gonna. They're your favorite team. I'm, yeah, still. I'm not gonna be a bandwagon jumper just for this. It's like, that's so. You you think you'd really you'd want me to do that, or people would have any respect for someone who, as soon as a a team that they're supposed to like goes up against a team they have history of liking, they just like jump to that other side. Like, well, and the only reason you would like the Senators yeah. is because they're Canadian. I'm not. That's the only be... reason I'm rooting for them because they're Canadian. Because I am not emotionally invested in either exactly. team. Exactly. I am actually kind of happy that the Senators are going up against the Penguins because I'll be honestly kind of happy if either team wins. Yeah. It'd be nice to see. A Canadian team in the finals, and then it'd be nice to see one of my favorite teams make it to the finals for a second year in a row. So. I would say Penguins are probably like my third favorite team. They're and just like, an entertaining team to watch. Yeah, exactly. And like I know about the guys. Phil Kessel's hilarious. Yeah. And like I don't know, I know about them. I yeah. I follow them a little bit. It's not like so, I picked the Penguins at the beginning of this playoffs. That'd be different. I've liked yeah. them since for over ten years now, and and I've followed them since uh, when Cross. I followed them since Crosby joined. You were joined. a bandwagon jumper. I was a bandwagon time, jumper for the Penguins. But you stuck with it, right? But yeah, there's no point to to re bandwagon jump after that long. It's like I got my ten year coin or whatever they give you for rehab. So I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna throw that all away for one Canadian team. I don't even cheer for in the regular season. Exactly. Point is, the Senators, you sucked. Okay. Yeah. Pull it together. Do you want to bring the cup back to Canada? Well, then fucking pull up your pants and do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it's not looking good. Senators, uh, they got a 40% chance of pulling it through. We'll see if they can do it.